Level 5, grade E, ratio and proportion. OK, let's go and run through some examples of these sort of questions. Simplifying a ratio. To simplify a ratio is like simplifying a fraction, trying to find the biggest number that goes into both things. You could do it in steps by dividing by 2, for example, halving it to get 8 over 12, 8 and 12, and then halve it again and halve it again until you run out of that. Or you could try a bigger number. 4 goes into these, certainly, 4 and 6 times. And even bigger than that is 8. 8 goes in 16 twice, and 8 goes in 24 three times. Now, it does help if you know your times tables really well, because you can spot these more quickly if you do. So 18 and 27, 2 doesn't go into both of those. 3 does, but bigger than 3 would be 9. 9 goes into 18 twice, and 9 into 27 is 3. 6 and 72, well, 6 goes into 72. 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 72 12 times. And 30 and 6, again 6 goes into 6 once, and 6 goes into 35 times. So it's just about finding the biggest number that goes into both. If you can't do that, then just start with small numbers and build your way up until you can't do any more. Sharing in a ratio, 24 in the ratio 2 to 4. There's a, there's a method for this, which you uh, add the two uh, ratios, so it's 2 plus 4, which is 6. Divide the 24 by that total, which gives you 4, and then you multiply each of these by that number to give you 8 and 16. Oops. And like this one, 4 plus 5 is 9. 63 divided by 9 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 5 is 35. And the last one, 3 plus 5 is 8, so that's what the, the total is. 64 divided by 8 is 8, and 3 eighths of 24, and 5 eighths of 40. And you can check that adds up to 64, which it does, and again, that one adds up to 63, which it does. Now, direct proportion is um, things like uh, cake mixes. So if you have to bake a cake, bake six cakes, and you need 100 grams of flour and 50 grams of sugar or whatever the things are you're using then to bake 12 cakes you would need twice as many as that and that's the idea behind proportion is just multiplying up sometimes you might have to find out what one thing is or you might have to use something that goes into um, the number you're trying to find let's just have a look at this one so we've got uh, the quantities of red and yellow paint to make orange paint so they must be kept in these ratios if you like, but this proportion. So for every three litres of red there's five yellow, so six we'd have ten, nine we would have, well, we'd have fifteen wouldn't we, because we'd have to add on um, another five to there to make fifteen, so I would be fifteen. Oh, and I missed out the fact the ratio, the red to yellow paint is the red to yellow, which is three to five. We could use 6 to 10, but that would cancel down to 3 to 5. That's the simplest form of the ratio. Carrying on, um, we had 9 of nine and 15. Now, this doesn't go to this one by adding 5. That would be 20 and 12 and so on. So what we need to do here is to figure out what we're times in our base ratio or our base proportion by to get to there. So I'm times in by 7 to get to 35. So I need to times the top by 7 to get to 21. So I, I would be 21. And then to get to 36, I would have to times by 12. So I, I, I would be 5 times 12, which is 60. Let's use another colour. To get to 100, using the 5, I would have to times by 20. So I times the top by 20. And 320s are... 60. And that's proportion for you. Sometimes you have to take it down to one value, uh, like a number 1, and then multiply it up. In this case, you're just multiplying up each time.